Welcome and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Remy Huku for Asset Management Report. Today is Tuesday, July 15, 2008. Hyundai Heavy Industries Company Limited has purchased a small domestic brokerage and an asset management firm for $745 million, this according to Reuters. The signing took place after Hyundai Heavy and affiliate Hyundai Mipo Dockyard Company agreed in May to buy a majority of unlisted CJ Investment and Securities Company from CJ Group companies including CJ Core and CJ Chairman Lee J. Hoon. The purchase of a 75% stake in the securities firm was valued at 705 billion won and was funded by Hyundai Mipo alone. Hyundai Mipo also shelled out an additional 43 billion won for a minor stake in CJ Asset Management Company to bring its ownership in the fund manager to 99%. According to Reuters calculations, CJ Core also made disclosures on the deal in sequence. The price tag for the brokerage firm is estimated at more than four times its book value and 12 times 2007 earnings ended in March. And in more asset management news, Nuveen Investment CEO Timothy Schwertfiger has left the firm amidst the company's search for an independent director to lead its funds. This according to the Chicago Tribune. Schwertfiger spearheaded the sale of the firm to buyout company Madison Dearborn Partners. A spokeswoman said he has retired from the firm, calling the move, quote, a natural progression. The spokeswoman added that the move was not tied to performance and that Madison was not behind the shift. This comes after his June 2007 announcement that upon completing the sale in Madison, he would resign as CEO but remain chairman. In a letter filed with regulators this week, Schwert Feger said, quote, Nuveen and your fund's board determined that fund shareholders would be best served by having an independent director serve as the new chairman of the fund's board. Robert Bremner replaced him as chairman, who has been on the board since 1997 and is a management consultant. And in other asset management news, Progress Investment Management Company, LLC, has completed a buyout of the minority equity interest of its outside investor, the Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority Retirement Fund. With the close of this transaction in June, Progress now becomes a 100% employee-owned business. Progress specializes in crafting multi-manager strategies featuring emerging managers. The firm's strategies are in U.S. and non-U.S. equities, fixed income, and P fund of funds investments. Progress manages $7 billion in assets for many of the largest pension plans in the U.S. Colchester Partners, a financial advisory firm, advised Progress in its transaction with the MBTARF. Specific terms of the deal were not disclosed. White also announced that Progress has recently authored two new white papers. And in other asset management news, Friends Provident will retain its Pantheon business after failing to secure a buyer for the financial advice firm. The Life and Pensions Company said it was unable to agree on the sale price to realize suitable value for its investors. Reports earlier claimed Friends was close to selling the business to a private equity company for 30 million sterling. Pantheon was acquired for 16.8 million pounds in May of 07 with further payments dependent on performance. Its activities include financial planning, tax and investment advice, scheme administration, and a retail investment unit operating via a call center. However, Pantheon was identified as non-core in January after Friends carried out a review of its business in the wake of its failure to merge with Closed Life Fund resolution. Friends may still sell Lombard, but hopes of selling its 52% stake in FNC Asset Management were dealt a blow last week when shares in FNC fell heavily. And that rounds out today's Asset Management News. Thanks for joining us on EMII.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click on to your asset management channel online and read the full stories and the latest developments.